Battle of the Brains presented by Virginia 529. Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Join us for a very special edition of Battle of the Brains. It's the All-Stars match. Eight academic athletes from across the Commonwealth compete in the Battle of the Brains All-Stars edition. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome, I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's only high school academic quiz show. Congratulations to the team from Princess Anne High School in Virginia Beach who won this year's championship match and earned a $10,000 scholarship for their school. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Today's players in this All-Stars match proved themselves to be elite players this season and will work together in randomly chosen teams to compete in this special match. First, meet Team East, Samuel and Malin from Ocean Lakes High School in Virginia Beach, and Trevor and Liam from Princess Anne High School in Virginia Beach. Team West, Madeline from Charlottesville High School, Anuj and Annabelle from Henrico's Douglas Freeman High School, and Timothy from Maggie Walker's Governor School. We will tell you more all about today's players in just a little bit, but first, congratulations to all for being chosen to play as this season's Battle of the Brains All-Stars. Our match today will consist of three toss-up rounds. Players will buzz in and wait for me to call on them. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction. There's no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, let's go with the first toss-up round in this All-Stars match. Fly, spinning, and bait caster are types of what? Liam. Fishing. Need you to be more specific. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh no answer. Okay, I will go to Team West. Anush? Uh, competitive fishing? It's actually fishing rods. Oh. Rheumatoid and psoriatic are both. Trevor. A-R-T-I-T-I-S. <laughs> <laughs> Arthritis is correct. <laughs> <laughs> How many witches appear in Shakespeare's Macbeth? Annabelle. Three. Correct. Which collegiate sports team are called the Cardinals? Anoush. Uh, Louisville. That is incorrect. Team East? Trevor? Kentucky. It's actually Stanford. What is the northernmost capital city in the contiguous United States? Trevor, uh, Timothy. Augusta, Maine. That is incorrect. Trevor. Juno. It's actually Olympia, Washington at 47 degrees latitude, north latitude. Juno is uh, at 58, but they're not in the contiguous. What two word phrase refers to the amount of heat required to raise a mass of degrees? Uh, Timothy. Heat capacity. That is incorrect. Samuel. Specific heat. That is correct. While in exile, this man issued his letter from Jamaica. Malin. Bolivar. Simon Bolivar is correct. Which of the Great Lakes lies wholly within the contiguous United States? Liam. Michigan. Correct. Spell contiguous. Liam. Uh, C-O-N-T-I-G-O-U-S. That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Team West. Madeline. Oh, C-O-N-T-I-G-U-O-U-S. That is correct. The book Team of Rivals by historian Doris Kearns Goodwin is about Abraham Lincoln, who welcomed his former rival presidential candidates into his cabinet. Name the New York... Liam. William Seward. That is correct, who served as Lincoln's Secretary of State. What term in physics is defined as a unit of work equal to... Malin. The electron volt. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Team West. Equal to 10 to the seventh power or one Newton through a distance of one meter. Timothy. Jewel. That is correct. The Jungle Book is a collection of stories. Trevor. Rudyard Kipling. Correct. By what English author? If Devon drove 60 miles in 90 minutes, what was her average speed? Malin. 40 miles per hour. Correct. What process is the oppos uh, opposite of oxidation when electrons are gained? Trevor. Reduction. Correct. Marsha Clark, Mark Furman, Johnny Cochran, Liam. O.J. Simpson. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> His trial in 1994-95. His regiment was part of the D-Day invasion of Normandy, and later he was one of the first to enter a liberated Paris. Trevor. Eisenhower. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Team West. Name this literary giant of such works as Teddy, A Perfect Day for Banana Fish, and the classic Timothy. G. 
Yeti Salinger. Correct, the classic catcher in the rye. He is best known for his analysis that war is the pursuit of diplomacy by other means. Liam. Klauswitz. Karl von Klauswitz is correct. For his contributions to artificial intelligence, he has been enshrined into the Inventors Hall of Fame. Trevor. Alan Turing. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Team West. Name this man who used the term singularity to mean machines and humans will merge and redefine life as we know it. Timothy. Watson. It would be Ray Kurzweil. If sine theta equals 3 over 5 and angle theta lies in the first quadrant, what is the value of the tangent theta? Malin. Three-fourths. That is correct. In music, what is the term for a constantly repeated phrase? Anoush. Uh, motif. Yeah. That is correct. Trevor. Ostinato. That is correct. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A good job by our team so far. Coming up next, we'll introduce you to our All-Stars match players when Battle of the Brains continues. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the first toss-up round here in this All-Stars match on Battle of the Brains. Our Team East has 90 points, our Team West with 40 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead. But first, we want to meet today's players who were chosen by our judges this season to compete as All-Stars. Let's start with our Team East. First up is Samuel Kidd, who is a senior at Ocean Lakes High School in Virginia Beach. He is a member of the school's orchestra, enjoys singing and also mathematics, and wants to study aerospace engineering, which, Samuel, I want to ask you about why aerospace space engineering? Well, I've always been very interested about the prospect of sending humans to live on other planets such as Mars, so I thought studying aerospace engineering would be a good way to get into that action and make it happen. We wish you the best of luck with that. Next up is Malin Ranjan, who is a senior at Ocean Lakes High School in Virginia Beach. He is a musician, plays piano, uh, wants to study physics and biology, also plays badminton and tennis, and I understand, Malin, you have a favorite tennis player. Roger Federer. Why? He is the greatest of all time. He is, he moves like an eagle on the court and has the most elegant strokes ever seen to man. <laughs> it's good to look up to somebody like that. <laughs> <laughs> Our next player is Trevor Dar. Trevor's second time playing as an all-star. He goes to Princess Anne High School in Virginia Beach and is a senior. Congratulations to your team for winning the championship this year. Uh, Trevor is a self-published author and researcher and plans to double major at Duke University in political science and astrophysics. Before you get to all that really hard work, Trevor, do you have any special plans for the summer? Well, Cheryl, you know, the streets of Gotham Always need defending. <laughs> but I also have a book to finish on Kaiser Wilhelm II, an opera to finish about Franz Kafka, some schools to build in the West African country of Togo, and Mike Tyson needs some training before his fight with Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to remember the name Trevor Dar. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to come up again. And wrapping up our team is Liam Senzon, who is a senior at Princess Anne High School in Virginia Beach and is hoping to study labor law and become a union attorney and enjoys studying American politics. So have you made your college plans yet, Liam? Yeah, uh, I'm going to be enrolling at Tidewater Community College. Uh, saved me a lot of stress and will save me a lot of money. And I'm I'm glad to be doing that. Sounds like a great plan. We wish you the best of luck. That is our Team East in the All-Stars match. And now let's meet our Team West as we play our All-Stars match today. First up is uh, Madeline Jones, who is a senior at Charlottesville High School. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Madeline is a musician who plays the electric and acoustic guitars, is also in choir, would like to go into journalism, and acts and does tech crew for theater. I've always wondered about the people who are behind the scenes. Tell me about your experience working on the theater crew. Well, lately I've done more acting, but being behind the scenes is honestly, I think, more of an important job sometimes. It, like, it's the thing that really makes the show happen. So. Could that possibly be a career for you, acting? Maybe, yeah. I, um, I was just Fräulein Schneider in Cabaret at Charlottesville High School, and I'm in Titanic the Musical. Very nice. Good, good job with that. Our next player is Anuj Damli, who is a junior at Douglas Freeman High School in Henrico County, is a member of the Model UN Club and Freeman Secretariat, plans to study computer science and political science in college, is a flutist with the Freeman Marching Band and Wind Ensemble. How long have you been playing music, Anuj? Uh, I've been playing piano since I was eight, and I started playing flute in sixth grade band when I was 11, and ever since then I've uh, stuck with it. 
and love playing music mm. uh, basically throughout all my teenage life. And flute's probably good in marching band. Huh? <laughs> not as heavy. <laughs> yeah, not, not as heavy, but in, in terms of volume, bit to be desired. Yeah. Our next player is Annabelle Nee, who is a Freeman at Douglas Freeman High School in um, Henrico County, a senior, and she plans to major in English at UVA. Congratulations, Annabelle. She's also a sound designer for Freeman's Plays and Musicals. What's that experience been like for you, Annabelle? Well, it's been very exciting. We actually just finished my last show at Freeman High School, Footloose the Musical, uh, and it's a really fun one because every day we get to cut Footloose and do all the dances up in the booth along with the actors. Dancing is allowed. <laughs> Good for you. And wrapping up our team is Timothy Porter, who is a senior at the Maggie Walker Governor's School in Richmond and also a second-time All-Star. Good to see you back here with us. Plans to major in mathematics at VCU, uh, currently studies political philosophy and participates in Model UN. Is also a musician. You enjoy playing guitar, electric, acoustic bass what's your favorite I am an acoustic guitarist all the way uh, back when I lived in South Carolina I started out learning bluegrass but uh, over time I've expanded to some of the older styles been playing a lot of uh, classical guitar and uh, flamenco lately which I've really enjoyed okay I'll have to look you up on the social media <laughs> and that is our all-stars team West an elite group of students it's been great having you all here competing with us this season on Battle of the Brains and in this all-star match up next they'll take on another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains continues miss a week of Battle of the Brains or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And before we get back to our questions, here's a reminder of the scores as they stand right now in this All-Stars match. Our Team East with 90 points, our Team West with 40 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And just a quick reminder to our teams, you will lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have the chance to answer. And of course, there's no conferring in the toss-up rounds. Here we go. What is the name of the occurrence in speech in which corresponding consonants, vowels, or morphemes are switched between two words in a phrase, such as calling... Timothy. Malapropism? That is incorrect. I'll finish for Team East. Such as calling a tall man a mall tan. Malin. Verbal dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually called spoonerism. <laughs> All right, teens, turn your attention to the monitors for a video question presented by a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. If you buzz in before, you will not be allowed to answer the question. What New Deal program brought electricity to parts of Appalachia? Trevor. Tennessee Valley Authority. That is correct. <laughs> The year one of the Muslim calendar coincides with what year of the Christian Julian calendar? Liam. Uh, 600. That is incorrect. Team West? Anoush. 562. It's actually 622 CE. What famous rock and roll singer once sang about a heartbreak hotel? Liam. Uh, Elvis? That is correct. And rock in a jailhouse. He was imprisoned in a chest with his mother, Danae. Annabelle. First, yes. Correct. Into the sea by his grandfather. This German believed there was no practical use for radio waves. He was the first to broadcast Trevor. Nikola Tesla. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Team West. He was the first to broadcast and receive. Identify this German namesake of a reciprocal second, the SI unit of frequency. Timothy. Hertz. Heinrich Hertz is correct. What is the only continent that does not have owls? Timothy. Antarctica. Correct. German Navy Captain Hans Langsdorff scuttled the Admiral Graf Spee in the port of Montevideo. In what country? Liam. Uruguay. Correct. This term is often used in relation to arthritis. Spell rheumatoid. Timothy. R H E U M A T O-I-D. That is correct. All right, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. The sum of four consecutive even integers is 68. Trevor. 14. That is correct. We're going to the value of the smallest one. They're 14, 16, 18, 20. 
He broke tradition by addressing the Imperial Council in person to express his doubts about war. What emperor was forced to deny his divinity after Japan's... <laughs> Timothy. Hirohita. Correct, after Japan's 1945 surrender. All right, teams, please turn your attention to the monitors for another video question presented by a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Typically attached to the end of a train, this railroad car with accommodations for the train crew is known by what name? Liam. The caboose. That is correct. 11th century Queen Matilda of Flanders was married to which Norman conqueror? Anuj. William the Conqueror. That is, we will accept that, judges? Yes, William I of England, known as William the Conqueror. Former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin was once governor of what state? Liam. Alaska. Correct. In a criminal trial, what four words are used to describe the burden of proof that the prosecution must establish? Timothy. Beyond a reasonable doubt. Correct. Identify the inn where the group of pilgrims in Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales Malin. The Tabard Inn. Correct. Meet across the Thames from London. Which American City's Major League Baseball team and National Football League team are named for <coughs> types of... Liam. Oh. Uh, Detroit. That's correct. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 the buzzer. The question was named for types of cats, and that would be the Tigers and the Lions. All right, teams, one more toss-up round just ahead, and we'll double the point value when Battle of the Brains All-Stars continues. Stay with us. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head into the final round of this special All-Stars match on Battle of the Brains. Our Team West with 160 points. Our Team East, rather, with 160 points. Our Team West with 100 points. And in this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, and so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. There's no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. Good luck to our All-Stars. This is our final toss-up round. What is the seventh sign of the zodiac represented by a pair of scales? Annabelle. Libra. Correct. Gypsophilia is the scientific name for which small white flower used as filler in floral arrangements and corsages? Annabelle. Baby's breath. Correct. What American politician who lost the 1962 mm. California? Liam. Richard Nixon. Correct. <laughs> was elected U.S. president eight years later. What 1940s novel by French Nobel Prize winner Albert Camus ends with the following lines? Trevor. The myth of Sisyphus. That is incorrect. <laughs> Timothy. The stranger. That is correct. I only had to wish there were be a large crowd of spectators the day of my execution and that they greet me with cries of hate. Fur Elise is one of the best known compositions. Anush. Beethoven. Correct. What eight letter word is defined as an animal or person that eats food of both plants? <laughs> Timothy. Samuel. Oh, was it? Omni okay, the judges are going to say Samuel. Omnivore. That is correct. Eats foods of both plant and animal origin. Who was the last president of the United States to run for re election unopposed? <laughs> Liam. James Monroe. Correct, in 1820. You may need your pencil and paper. What is the quotient of five divided by one over seven? <coughs> Trevor. 30, 35. 35 is correct. Roy G. Biv is a well-known <coughs> Anush. A rainbow? That is incorrect. I'll finish for <coughs> Team East. Well, I won't. Visible Leah. light? That is incorrect. I was okay. going to ask what the I stands for. That's <laughs> indigo. Oh. You're not reading my mind anymore. I guess Dang. <laughs> One of the largest religious monuments in the world, Angkor Wat, is located Liam. Cambodia. Correct. The Queen Anne's Revenge was the name of Trevor. Blackbeard. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Team West. Was the name of Blackbeard's flagship? <laughs> Timothy. Teach. Edward Teach is correct, Blackbeard's <laughs> real name. Encompassing some three and a half million square miles, what is the world's largest hot desert? <coughs> Samuel. Sahara. That is correct. Home to the world's largest desert, <coughs> together, Trevor. Antarctica. That is incorrect. For Team West, spell Antarctica. A-N-T-A-R-C-T. <laughs> <laughs> 
T-I-C-A. That is correct. <laughs> what color ribbon is worn to support women? <laughs> Liam. Uh, pink with breast cancer, that is correct. What university won the 2024 Women's Division one NCAA? Timothy. Uh, South Carolina. That is correct, basketball tournament. Name the Virginian who became U.S. President upon the death of William Henry Harrison. Uh, Samuel. Samuel. John Tyler. And that is correct. Ray Bradbury is known for writing Anuj. Fahrenheit 451. That is incorrect, I'll finish for Tim East, for writing what genre of fiction? Trevor. Science fiction. That is correct. A kiloton is 1,000 tons. What is the term for 1 million tons? Malin. Megaton. That is correct. In 1890, the Congress of the United States made, its third, made it its third national park. Name this park located in California. Trevor. Yosemite. That is correct. What son-in-law of Edward IV became King of England in 1485? Liam. Henry VIII. That is incorrect. Timothy? Uh, Richard III. It's actually Henry VII. Born Domenicos Theocopolis. Timothy? El Greco. That is correct. The Andrea Doria was one of the leaders of this commercial rival of Venice. Name this city state. Timothy? Genoa. Correct. And that buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here on Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. And now let's double check the final score for today's All-Star match here on Battle of the Brains. Great to have these All-Stars playing with us today. Team West ends the match with a total of 240 points. Great job today by Timothy, Annabelle, Anuj, and Madeline. Good to see you and best of luck in the future. Our winners today of this All-Star match are Team East. Great job today by Samuel, Malin, Trevor, and Liam. Congratulations. I'm Cheryl Miller. It has been a great season. Thank you to our judges, Patrick Porter, Barry Gaby, and Michelle Codd, to the production crew here at WTBR in Richmond, to the coaches, teams, schools, and parents who make this all possible. And thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains. We'll see you next time. Great match, All-Stars. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.